Stay for the algorithm, y'all. I just don't want to lose weight, though. Why? Because I am not... I don't care. I just think that, like, if I get to be 600 pounds, then maybe I can just go on the show. Aspirations. I got to do the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, but it's circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good. In our last episode of Shaped by the Algorithm, we saw how Amber had moved on from Destiny with her latest girlfriend, Becky. We saw Amber actually make new friends, courtesy of Becky, and we were lucky enough to hear their sweet, sweet singing voices. Rocky Top Tennessee! Rocky Top Tennessee! <laughs> we watched how Amber had to deal with Rafe being a complete fucking bitch. And we saw how Amber was a big enough person to forgive Rafe and make friends again. We watched how Amber would do questionable things on camera and still upload them with absolutely no self-awareness whatsoever. When did I become such a blackie? We saw how Amber told us she was serious about her weight loss and that she was starting Weight Watchers again. And we saw how serious she took that. <laughs> We sadly didn't get to see too much of Becky in the last episode either. In fact, it was only really during Christmas time, during Vlogmas, that we got to see more of her. But we still didn't really know her yet. We were still getting to know her just like Amber was. One reason, perhaps the biggest reason we hadn't seen much of Becky so far, was because she felt extremely uncomfortable on camera. She was shy. She didn't want people judging her and she was fully aware what the internet was like. She didn't want people harassing her work, or, God forbid, her family. It was clear early on that Becky was a very family-oriented girl. She was always spending time with her family and looking after the little ones. People watched my vlog yesterday and saw that we let CJ sleep in the bed with us and people were freaking out because they're like, hey, Merlin, you're morbidly obese. Like, what are you doing? You're gonna kill him, you're gonna smother him. Like, that is an issue, what are you doing? Trust me, I thought of those things several times. I did not want CJ to sleep in the bed because I do get worried about that. But we do have a king size bed and I sleep up against the wall, like all to myself. Becky usually sleeps on the other side of the bed. So we have this a lot of like free space and that's where Twinkie likes to roam around. So with Becky being so shy, even just being in the background of Amber's videos felt like a brave move from her. Though sometimes she couldn't control when she was in the videos, Amber had a lovely habit of filming Becky without checking if it was okay. Amber had moved in with Becky pretty quickly, along with Becky's roommates Eric and Ricky. Eric and Ricky seemed just swell. Model. No. <laughs> like it was seriously like yellow around like your eyes and right. then it was like around your mouth. It was weird. I don't know. Slowly but surely Becky was appearing more and more and each time seeming more and more comfortable on screen. It was good to see her so often. We as an audience were learning more about her every time we saw her. We learned how sensible she was. I'm a wuss and I like to go to bed at, you know, a reasonable hour. I don't. <laughs> we learned she was something of an optimist. Happy uh, New Year's Eve. Yeah. And here's to a new year and a new us. Oh God. And we learned what we already knew, that Becky was a very sweet woman. 
Amber had been left devastated when Destiny became the latest girlfriend to break things off with her. So it was good to see Amber with a girlfriend on camera, having fun like she used to. Baby, why are you sitting in your closet? I thought you already came out. <laughs> <laughs> we all hoped Becky's personality would rub off a little on Amber and help Amber be a more optimistic, sensible, happier version of herself. They were both ready for a great 2018, but sadly for Amber, hers did not get off to the best of starts. And say Happy New Year's. I'm really sorry there wasn't a video yesterday. I got super, super sick and I had to go to the hospital. I was puking and having diarrhea. So I ended up going to the hospital and the doctor's actually like, I'm very glad you came here because you have a really bad stomach virus. I'm shot and I hope it helps. And honestly, it did not help. I have been puking and having diarrhea. I'm sorry for the time for over 24 hours. The most embarrassing part is when I was at the hospital, their bathroom is right next to the emergency room waiting room. And I went in there and I was like puking in the bathroom and I came out and Becky's like, everyone heard you. It sounded like you were doing it like right here. And I was just like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Although it may not have been the most pleasant way to start off the new year, the puking and the pooping did seem to help with her weight loss. So my starting weight for this year is 488.6. I'm sure a lot of you remember I weighed myself about a month ago and I wouldn't tell anyone what it is. I felt very sad and down about it. I actually weighed 497.0, exactly on the dot, 497. Damn! I'm sorry. So since then, as you can tell, I have lost weight. It's probably just through the puking and the pooping and the maybe in a way this was me starting my new year cleaning the out cleaning the pipes amber may have lost a little weight through her vomiting and violent diarrhea but she couldn't just rely on gross fluids leaving her body to lose the weight she would need a plan and she needed one fast so it's the end of the night and I want to share with you guys how I plan on losing weight I am being a little drastic with myself but I think I need it because the fact that I'm almost 500 pounds is like, what the fuck? Excuse my language. It's just, it's very eye-opening and I realize I need to be strict with myself because I can't die early. I just, I don't want to like, I can't die early. I just, I don't want to like, I can't die early. I just, I don't want to like. A very, very powerful set of words from Amber there. I can't die early. I can't die early. And this was not Amber being dramatic either. She would, in fact, die early if she did not make some drastic changes. People Amber's size don't tend to live into old age. A lot don't even make it into middle age. And with every year that passed that Amber did nothing about her health, the closer and closer she was getting to receiving an unwelcomed visit from the Grim Reaper. I'm gonna be eating lots of vegetables and everything is just gonna be completely fresh and homemade. And this is super exciting. I know everyone knows I go out to eat every single day, but my goal is not to go out to eat a single time in January. I'm also gonna be doing a lot more moving and that's why I got a Fitbit. My Fitbit is making it to where I do move more and it's making me pumped and excited and I just feel really good. Also, I'm gonna be drinking a lot of water. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing as of now. And I'm feeling great, I'm doing good and yeah. Amber was wanting to lose the weight, like always, but she was also wanting to change other things about herself. I want to get my lips filled. <laughs> Wait, what? I want my lips to be bigger. So you want like collagen injection? Yeah, but I'm scared. <laughs> Maybe once I get like, you know, lose more weight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? What? Do you hear her? What? I want my lips like filled. I want the... <laughs> this is called a judger and a hater. Order! Order in the cockpit! You're crazy! She said she wants her lips filled. I do! What do you mean? I want my lips bigger. Right. But I'm focusing on my health first. Amber had finally learned something from her many failures over the years. She told us rather than focus on one big goal of losing X amount of weight, she was going to take it one step at a time. And that first step was to not eat out in January and weigh herself every week. Yes, she could give herself a bigger goal of losing weight, but giving herself smaller, achievable goals was a great idea. With smaller goals, she could accomplish them and not fail 
and feel so demotivated. Okay, so now she had a plan. Amber had had plans before, of course, many plans. But this time she had her new Fitbit to keep track of how she was doing with her exercise. Amber had quite often lied to her audience and to herself about how well she was doing with her various fitness journeys. But this time, with her Fitbit, it would tell her if she had been putting in the required work or if she had not been doing what was necessary. There was to be no deception now she had her Fitbit. So I wanted to show you guys, this is my Fitbit dashboard. And yesterday I ended the vlog saying I did 1.6K walking, but I actually ended the, the tr my true day at almost 3,000, which I am very, very proud of. And I burnt almost 5,000 calories. 5,000 calories burned did sound a little high. But if those stats were correct, Amber would find losing weight much easier than ever before. Recently, Amber's life had all been about her breakup with Destiny, her new relationship with Becky, the drama with her latest job, and moving to a new state. She hadn't done a series of videos dedicated to just weight loss in quite a while. So, strangely for Amber, her idea to make her channel all about weight loss again was actually a welcome change for most. Amber wanted to lose the weight and get healthy, but the thing she wanted more than anything was to inspire her audience. She had always spoke of the need to inspire others, inspire others to achieve their weight loss goals, but she had never managed to lose the weight herself, yet. Perhaps 2018 would be the year. Amber had obviously tried to lose weight in the past, but she had not tried to lose weight through exercise since her crystal days. Back then she went to the gym, a couple of times. She used her exercise machine, she named Nora, a couple of times, and she danced, which she had enjoyed doing because she thought she was a good dancer. Not everyone agreed, of course, but whether she was a good dancer or not didn't really matter. What did matter was that she did her own choreography and that she moved to burn more calories. Currently on my Fitbit, we are at the good old I've only done 1.4K steps today, so 1,400. And we're gonna do more than we did yesterday. That is my goal. Yesterday I walked 4,349 steps, and so far today I'm actually over that. This might be stupid to some people, but I'm like purposely trying to walk down more aisles than I normally would just to get these steps in. I know that's like really stupid, but sometimes I'll re-walk down an aisle. Girl, let me walk in place to get my steps in. Amber had tried and failed her weight loss journey before, but this time would be different, because this time she had Becky for support. It was fantastic seeing Amber move around more on her own two feet, rather than those god-awful scooters we were used to seeing her unnecessarily use. I'm wearing the wrong shoes. My foot hurts really bad, but I really do it because of my heel spur. It's because of my foot. Hashtag my foot is actually broken. and I. I do it because I have a hurt foot and I wore the wrong shoes to work today. My freaking feet hurt. Oh. Becky was taking part too. She was keen to lose weight herself. Crystal had gained a lot of weight while in a relationship with Amber. Destiny had also gained a lot of weight while in a relationship with Amber. And even in the short time Amber and Becky had been together, Becky had gained some unwanted weight. Could Becky be the only one who actually broke away from this tradition of piling on the pounds while in a relationship with Amber. As well as Amber and Becky supporting each other on this weight loss journey, they also had a fun little competition going. But Becky and I are doing a weight loss wars, which we have talked about before. But Becky and I, how we're doing this is we're seeing who can lose the most weight. But obviously it's that she's smaller than me. We're not actually going by weight. We're gonna be going by percentages. What we're gonna do is each week, we're gonna put 10 or $20 in a jar. I think I really wanna do 20, I don't know though. We're gonna put that money in a jar and at the end of the three months, whoever loses the most weight in percentages is gonna be the one to take that money and do whatever they want with it. Again, another short-term goal that would help her overall long-term goal of losing weight and a fun shorter goal too, competing against her girlfriend. Losing weight can often be no fun at all, so spicing things up with this little money in the jar game was another fantastic idea by Amber. 
Short-term goals were all well and good, but ultimately pointless if Amber was not going to do the work. This is so amazing. I have taken 1.6K, 1,600 steps so far today, which is not the greatest. You're supposed to take 10,000 according to the Heart Association place, but I mean, the fact that I've taken that many, I'm proud of that within myself. So she hadn't been taking enough steps to start off her journey, but she was still proud. If she kept being proud of not doing enough work, she would never change. It was time for Amber to grow up and stop being pleased with herself for failing. This was amazing. I am currently wearing my Fitbit. It's super loose. I mean, I know like there were some haters in the comments who were like, that ain't gonna fit her, but honey, look at the extra. <laughs> this is not only did Amber have her new Fitbit, but she treated herself to other things that would help with her exercise goals. <laughs> I think I bought a pair of tennis shoes and I got my new shoes on. Oh my God, they're so weird. I should have got a nine and a half, but I got a 10. So it's a little loose. I guess I'll deal with it for now. I know when I lost those famous 89 LBs, my feet actually shrank. So with me losing weight, I feel like my feet will eventually shrink back to like a smaller size. This is a Leslie Sansone walking DVD. I used to do Leslie Sansone all the time. The walk was originally like 20 minutes and about 40 seconds, but I stopped at a little over halfway. I feel great though. What did you think? It was great. I'm, uh, I'm a little tired, but I probably could have kept going. Do you want to keep going? You'll have to stop because of me. Um, yeah. Uh, right. I'll keep going. Do your thing, girl. Actually, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep going too. Are you? I am. Okay. Let's do this thing! <laughs> I need to drink water. Drink that water, girl. Of course, not every minute of every video would be about her weight loss and exercise. During her normal vlogs, Becky could often be heard in the background playing on her video games, which was reminiscent of how Crystal could be heard in the background playing her games, just like Destiny 2. Amber definitely had a type, played computer games, overweight, played board games, and had a driver's license. It's how Amber got around after all. But no more. Amber was now a walking goal. Amber may have been moving more, but exercise isn't much good without the right foods behind it. Thankfully, Amber was on top of this too. So this is two servings raw. Raw, you guys. No eating out in January was actually going well. It was still early days, but she had made several vlogs now and nothing, no problems so far. We weren't used to seeing consecutive videos where she didn't have a menu in front of her. In the past, Amber would often make the excuse of how other people wanted her to eat at a restaurant, so she would have to eat at that restaurant too. But even that had disappeared. Her whole perception of food seemed to have changed overnight. They're gonna be having Little Caesars pizza there that just aren't in my lifestyle change for January. So I'm actually gonna be making my own meal to take with me to warm up there. I'm kind of embarrassed about it, but I don't want to derail any of the progress that I've already made. Today's been a really good day. I'm just completely in awe with myself, the fact that I didn't go out to eat even though I wanted to so badly. It's just crazy to me because even Becky really wanted to and she was struggling harder than I was. I feel like in the next few vlogs, I might have her like, you know, sit down, talk to you guys about, you know, how she's doing. She's doing really good, but she is struggling. I mean, it's hard. It's a complete lifestyle change. She's never done like diets before, but I'm, I'm trying to teach her, you know, this ain't a diet. Let's just have it be a lifestyle change. Amber was enjoying cooking her healthy meals again rather than ordering takeout all the time and she was clearly very eager for someone's approval. How's your pasta taste? Amazing. So we just got done eating and Becky doesn't really like carrots so I want to know what did you think? Well I'm not a big carrots fan but everything else was amazing. Like, I don't even like fish but that was good fish. Really? Mm -hmm. Yay, she did like it, and it was just super great, and I hope you guys try it and let me know what you think. It was super, super good. It was one of Becky's favorite things that I've made so far. So Amber may have been a good cook, 
but perhaps she wasn't the smartest cook in the world. I was making shells, so I couldn't really 100% tell if those were cooked or not just by looking at them, so, you know, I had to put one in my mouth. So when I did it, I guess there was some boiling water trapped within the shell, and I went to take a bite of it to try it, and the boiling water just dripped right here. It scared the crap out of me, and it hurt super bad. Normally I don't make, you know, stupid mistakes like that, but I was opening an avocado, you guys know that stupid circle. Like we this. have to go to Walmart and get her some but I need to gauze eat first. and hand wrap. In the first week of January, Amber's eating was perfect. Sadly for her though, her movement wasn't quite as good. I wanted to show you guys that yesterday I ended my day with 3,630 steps. Wow, I was actually super proud of myself. She had always found walking difficult anyone would at her size, and she was finding it hard now. There was also something else that she was starting to struggle with. For some reason tonight, I am struggling really bad, and I'm just here to be honest. Um, it's day five of my lifestyle change, and I just feel like, I don't know if I'm being too strict with myself or if I'm just like going through the blues right now, but I am truly struggling. It's, it's frustrating me because all I can think about is chocolate, and I want the feeling of like, whole wheat bread in my mouth and I want the feeling of like salty chips in my mouth and it's it's frustrating me. I have been very strict the last five days and I have never eaten like this in my life. Even when I did lose the 89 pounds, I still didn't eat this healthy and I- Amber was struggling already after just five days. So many times we had seen her start well, then second guess herself and it would all crumble beneath her. She told us Becky had been struggling too though it didn't seem that way when Becky spoke to us. Our weight loss journey is going pretty good so far. I'm feeling okay about it. Okay, hold on, CJ. Okay, he wanted down. Amberlynn's feeling a little eh today, but you know, we all have those days. Becky seemed to be doing okay. She was the one pushing herself more with the walking videos, and she had a nice excuse to have to move around. Hey. In the past, Amber would film kids in her videos, most of the time without permission. And people thought with Becky's nephew, the same thing might be happening again. I noticed some of the comments on some, some of Amberlynn's things that, you know, may feature my nephews or a random family member and you guys have a problem with that. And you think my family has a problem with that, but they don't. They know what Amberlynn does for a living. They're fine with it. They're fine with my nephews being on there. They don't care. She's got permission, so it's not really that big of a deal. They consider her as part of the family now, so why wouldn't she want to vlog her family? Becky explained the situation calmly and precisely, which even that was a welcome change. Normally, when we saw Amber addressing comments, it would be with a lot of emotion. The more we saw of Becky, the more she seemed to be good for Amber. Becky seemed to be doing just fine, and she always came across as a fairly positive person. Perhaps some of Becky's positivity would rub off on Amber. This is actually the first time you've seen me, obviously, all day long. I woke up just in a really bad mood. I don't know if it's because last night I really wanted, like, chocolate and ice cream and chips, and I knew I couldn't have any of that because I'm just restricting myself so hard. Monday will be the day that I'll weigh in and make a video. She had been moving more than she was used to, and she had almost done a full week of healthy eating. No binges and no eating out. So although she was starting to struggle a little, her audience was still expecting some good weight loss when she came to her weigh-in video. The hype for her first weigh-in was really beginning to build. You guys, so tomorrow is weigh-in day. I do weigh myself every single day, but tomorrow is like my official weigh-in day. So every Monday I'm going to weigh-in and I'm going to film a weigh-in video. I know it's going to be a really good weigh-in because I haven't weighed myself every day and I am down weight every single day, so I'm super excited about that. And I know Monday arrived and we were very eager to see her wait. But before we did that, Amber had something she wanted to say. You guys are supporting me so much. Like you guys are giving me 
all kinds of love and all kinds of positivity. I just wanna thank you guys so much for all the positivity. It's just, it really helps me because when I see so much negativity, I think that's what causes me to binge eat and to want to overeat and we can call it triggered all we want but that's truly the case so the positivity is helping me a lot amber was proving that she didn't just have a bunch of haters who disliked her for the fun of it she had people who called her out when she was not giving it her best now that she was putting the effort in the comments were beginning to show that and so was the like to dislike ratio she had always struggled with what she thought were haters threatening to quit over and over because of them. But now that she was doing the work, the positive comments and the likes were flooding in like she had always wanted. Now she had gotten that out of the way, it was finally time. My highest weight was 280. I lost a little bit before we started the war. Before we started the war, <laughs> I really started out was 266.6 on January 1st. And as of today, I weigh 262.2. Within this week, I have lost 4.4 pounds. My percentage this week was 1.65%. I've been I've been doing good. The only time I did mess up was yesterday at my mom's house. I had a blow pop. If you don't I know had what a blow that pop. Is, it's a sucker. I had a sucker. And that's the only time I messed up. It's okay, baby. So It's a lifestyle change. But it's like the more I do it, the easier it gets. That's really good. Yes. Now, I'm pretty proud about the 4.4 pounds that I've lost in a week. I think I'm doing good. Hey, guys. Okay, so it's my turn for a weight loss update. I have done so good this week. I have. This is the best I've ever ate in my life. I know a lot of you know I've lost 89 pounds prior and gained it all back, plus more, da da da. I didn't even eat this healthy then. I told myself that I did not want to eat out a single meal, which for me is crazy because I would eat out once or twice a day, every single day. I never cooked. Successful! Next thing was I had to cook. I had to cook every single one of my lunches, every single one of my dinners. Successful. I've, I've just been successful in everything that I told myself that I was gonna do. And I know Becky said that she had a sucker and I don't want her to feel guilty about it. I did not. I'm not trying to like brag or anything. Like that. I just want to let you guys know that there has been tons of temptations and I just, I haven't given in to any. So this brings me to my weigh-in for today, which every Monday we're going to do an official weigh-in for you guys and upload that. On January 1st, I weighed in at 488.6. So I weighed in today at 480.4. That means in one week, this week, I've lost 8.2 pounds. That's amazing. That's like Wow, I am so proud of myself. Percentage for this week that I lost is 1.67. So I did beat Becky, this is weight loss worse. I did beat Becky only by 0 0.02 of a percent. So yeah, that's our weigh-in. Yay, we both lost weight, I'm so proud of us. Both lost weight. Amber stuck to a diet for a full week. She had Becky for support and she actually was beating Becky in who can lose the most percentage of their body weight. Amber was feeling pumped, motivated, and competitive. We were sitting here eating dinner, and then Amber Lynn randomly said, hey, why don't we have a water drinking contest? So we're gonna see who wins. Go. <laughs> oh my God! Your face is so red. <laughs> I never drink out of these little thingy majiggers. I I laughed. That's what stopped me. Is I thought oh, it was too okay, funny. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Oh yeah. Oh, it okay. wasn't you know because Becky just won. This had been the best week in terms of diet and exercise Amber had ever done. Sure, she had craved naughty foods a little, but she fought off those cravings and won. It was no coincidence that Becky was her girlfriend, and now all of a sudden Amber was doing so well. Whatever Amber did in the future, keeping Becky around was paramount to her accomplishing her goals. With a very successful week one now in the books, we could begin week two, and that meant just three weeks to go to see if Amber could not eat out in that time. Both Amber and Becky were extremely pleased with their week one performances, especially Becky. It was great to see Becky so happy and playful on camera. Amber though, after that first successful positive week, 
seemed to have taken a step back. So this is something I don't really like want to get on here and share. I'm having a difficult time today. I woke up feeling extremely down. I don't know what it was. I woke up in a very just depressed mood. I have been weighing myself every day. I know a lot of people, you know, say don't do that because your weight fluctuates like a lot. You're right. I always heard the second week of dieting is always like the weirdest because your body wants to hold on to weight that it shouldn't. And I did weigh myself today and I gained 1.6 pounds. How? How? Also, I was, you know, I was feeling super excited for today and I was gonna be like, you guys, guess what? I wanna do 100 days of vlogging. It's something that, you know, I wanna challenge myself to. I was gonna be like, the 100 days of vlogging begins, but I just, I, I can't feel happy right now. I just, I feel like poop. And Amber carried on feeling bad about herself which forced her to take a very short hiatus from YouTube. I'm back. Okay, I'm plenty. You were like, Amberlynn, where have you been? I'm right here. I'm chilling. I'm okay. <laughs> the whole Amber had been gone five days and she had just spent the week doing what she wanted rather than what she needed to do. As most of you know, I love me some ice cream. So I'm trying to find myself a healthier alternative, which I actually used to eat these when I was down the famous 89 LBs. They are these Yasso frozen Greek yogurts. I got the coffee. Cough Amber, luckily for us, had returned to YouTube just in time for weigh-in number two. Do I look good? Do I look okay? Do I look good? Do I look okay? Hey guys, you haven't heard from us in a few days, have you? <laughs> well, um, today's Monday and it was weigh-in day. So last week I weighed 262.2. 260.6. Um, I was down 1.6 pounds. I will say that I did sort of break down a little bit and I had a cup of hot cocoa and I had like these little rice cake things and like a Twizzler or few, but I still lost some weight and I'm still pretty happy about that. And we're still sticking with our meals and our water only drinking and our walking. And we're, I think we're doing, still doing pretty good. Becky may not have lost as much as she did in week one, but she had still lost weight and was still heading in the right direction. And it was nice to hear her be honest and tell us she had not been perfect without offering excuses for her poor choices. So this week was a lot harder for me. I went in a slump, my depression was horrible, and I did, I caved in a little bit. I had a little bit of candy and I tried to justify it because I actually got these dark chocolate covered cherries. And I was like, you know what, that's okay, it's a lot healthier, I usually want Reese's and I want this and that. And I will tell you, there was one day of the week that I did binge. So I did allow myself to have a few dark chocolate covered cherries nightly, sorry, <laughs> nightly. Um, a few nights I did have a little bit more than a serving. And what I'm trying to do is figure out a way to where I don't feel so extremely restricted that I binge because I was doing amazing for I think a solid nine days and then I binged on my 10th day. Well, I've been craving soda like a freak, but even on my binging night, I literally just drink water. I'm trying to stick to water. And another thing was the same night that I binged, I started my period. It was just a lot, like a really big mess. So last Monday I was 480.4 and I actually weighed in today at 479.4. So I am down a pound. I'm super excited about that. It could be way better next week. I am praying to the gods that it will be better and I'm just gonna keep pushing forward. Week two was just rough, but let's, you know, Give a round of applause that I'm even trying, I'm not giving up, and let's make week three amazing. Amber wanted a round of applause for a pound of weight loss, but a pound is basically... Hey everyone, I will be checking my weight right now, and it says 220, 220 pounds. And uh, just give me a, give me a minute. Everybody, um, 
take a look. 218, two pounds. I lost two pounds from a poop. If week two had gone slightly off the rails, then week three was even worse. There was barely any talk of the upcoming weigh-in, and barely any fitness talk at all, and Amber seemed fully back to her old school style vlogs. Although she did have a good excuse, sorry, reason as to why she was happy to carry on just doing her usual vlogs. So I asked people on Twitter last night if you guys have been enjoying my daily vlogs and the majority of you said yes, about 85%. So thank you. Her latest videos were very much old school Amber. The only thing they were missing was Amber sat down with a menu in front of her. The fitness side of her videos may have been disappearing, but at least she hadn't got out for food with Becky. They were both still firm on that. I just want to start off by saying I came into 2018 with this crazy mindset of, oh, 2018 is going to be a cure-all. I'm going to be the most perfect person in the world. I'm going to eat healthy and clean and I'm going to count my steps every day and I'm going to rock out of everything. Not only do I have, you know, binge eating, but I am a food addict and I eat emotionally, whether it's from happiness or from sadness or joy. Um, so my thing for you guys is I did binge once this week again, but I want to say for me, and I'm not making excuses in the slightest, that I've only binged twice this month and it used to happen way more than that. Sometimes it would happen more than once a day. And I am proud. I'm just proud of myself, even though, trust me, I feel guilty for binging because it's not me when I'm binging. Like Becky has been there when I binge and she tries to help me. Sorry. And like I get mad. I got mad because obviously I don't drive and I don't even know if this is something I want to be honest about, but it's like, I just get very angry if I don't get my way during a binge and I feel like I'm being possessed by somebody because it's not who I am. And I remember after the binge, which was, oh, I regret it. But I remember after the binge, Becky was like, you were really mean to me because I kept saying no. And I was like, I don't even remember that. I'm not like that, like when I'm not binging. Do you get what I mean? And I just feel bad and it's like, I don't know. Like I'm upset that I did that, but then it's like, I'm also proud that it, it's only been twice this month. So. Last Monday, I was 479.4, and I weighed in today at 476.2. So that means I am down 3.2 this week. So even though I binged, I was able to still lose weight, and I'm just happy about that because I am going in the right direction. I'm thinking about joining a gym, and tomorrow we're going to go talk to them, like the gym about how much it would cost and what kind of things they got going there and kind of look around and see if it's somewhere that I feel comfortable with and Becky because gyms can be a scary place. So, but that's that. Okay, you can do yours now. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Last week I weighed uh, 260.6 and um, that day that, that did happen and she did binge. I did eventually give in. Please don't blame yourself. I know. Just That's one thing I don't want you to do because it's not your fault. You know, after a few times saying no, I was just like, all right, but no more. And I took her. And then, you know, the next day, we both didn't feel good. We felt like crap. I felt horrible. We felt sick. Sick. We and literally felt sick. It's weird, though. I had a bad headache. Yeah. And, um... I mean, I didn't get a soda, but I did get sweet tea. I I will say, I still have only been drinking water. It's just, it's weird though, because like, I just feel my body wanting water. I don't feel like I ever really crave soda anymore, so that's good. So yeah, um, from 260.6 of last week to 257.4 today. 
3.2 pounds that I've been down. We both and lost 3.2 pounds this week to breakfast, but I feel like if we do end up joining a gym, joining a gym, we're going to have to remember to have, I think a smoothie before the gym would be great. Smoothies make me feel light, like I can do things. And then obviously, because back when I used to go to the gym all the time when I lost those famous 89 LBs, I always say that, sorry. Um, I would always have a bar after I worked out. So that's something else that, but um, yeah. Anything else you wanna say? I feel like I cut you off, did I? You did, but it's okay. Why do I do that? Uh, I don't know. Nobody's perfect. So we're going on to week four of our weight loss journey. And I have not actually given up. Both weighed in and both were down in weight again, which was good. What was not good, however, was Amber's behavior. Amber wanted to be driven somewhere for food. Becky refused, so Amber thought it acceptable to be mean to her girlfriend, and she kept being mean until she got her own way. Amber may have searched for excuses for her disgusting behavior, her favorite being that she didn't actually remember the incident, but she did remember, and no one who watched this had any sympathy for Amber. We were now into the last week of January. Both Amber and Becky had done well. They had had their ups and downs, but they had been down in weight in all three weigh-ins. Out of the two, Amber definitely was the more negative. We just had to hope that Amber's way of thinking didn't rub off on Becky too much. Okay, so I only got three hours of sleep, so I am really, really, really tired. But I could deal with it, like, I got this. Like, Becky, it's hard for her to only sleep, like, a few hours, but I have to try to remind her, you know, we have another night's sleep coming. It'll be okay. You can catch up on sleep then, or, you know. And the pair, even in week four, were still setting themselves fresh goals. It was new and exciting, seeing Amber still on track this far into a plan, and she was serious about stepping it up even more. I actually um, am thinking about joining a gym. So that's something that I am thinking about and... She had mentioned joining the gym a few times now, and the day she was supposed to go check the gym out came along. We all couldn't wait to see Amber working out once again. So, about the gym, that is something we need to talk about. I have been reading your guys' comments like mad today, because today was the day that joining the gym question mark was uploaded and I want to say the majority of people think I should not join a gym because it is far away and people don't think I'm going to be consistent with it and people think I'm going to be wasting my money and a lot of people have suggested I go to the mall without buying anything and kind of just become a mall shopper. I read that in the comments which I've thought of before, I have mentioned that to Becky before. A lot of people also said, you know, just do the DVDs that you bought, which I definitely agree that I do need to um, do the DVDs because I did buy them and I do enjoy them, they're fun. Um, I haven't yet done the Zumba one though. So I think I'm gonna hold off on the gym, which really makes me sad and I feel bad because I don't drive and Becky was not looking forward to going to the gym and I don't want to make her drive me there every single day because it was going to be about 45 minutes away from here. So I would feel way too bad about that and I don't want to make her do anything. Amber had no intention of ever joining a gym and she knew it. She was, unfortunately for her, starting to erode the positive feelings people had about her at the beginning of January. Hey. What are you doing? Something embarrassing. What's embarrassing? Just cut this out. After Amber had been mean to Becky that time regarding driving her for food, you would think Amber would be doing everything she could to make up for it. But for some reason, she kept in the clip of Becky saying, cut this part out. Imagine asking someone to cut something out, and instead of doing what they've asked, you just leave it in to be mean. I'll definitely edit this bit. <laughs> edit this bit It was now the last weigh-in of January. Three weigh-ins done and Amber and Becky had lost weight each time. They may not have had perfect weeks every time, but what they had done thus far had been working for them. 
and it was now their final chance in January to prove to everyone they could lose weight consistently and show that setting themselves smaller goals was the answer. Hey guys! God. What's up? What's going on everybody? This is our weight loss weigh-in video for you guys. Stop! Do you need some extra gum with an extra personality? Well, there ain't nothing extra about my personality. When I lost 89 pounds, I hate when I say that. Like, I'm actually over saying that. I can't wait until I lose more than 89 pounds so I can stop saying that. But when I lost 89 pounds, I lost so much weight that I was on my period for two months straight and it was super, super heavy. And I noticed my face is breaking out and I'm like, why? And it's because I've gotten my period twice this month. And the first time it was probably for no longer than six hours. And I recently got my period, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. No, it was Wednesday. It was like Wednesday night. And today, <laughs> people think I abuse you already. She does not. God, I would never say with someone who was abusive toward me, that would never happen. Like I've had family members that that's happened to and I would never do so. I would never subject myself to that. There is a difference between, I mean, there is emotional abuse and physical abuse. Yeah, that's people happening think, to both. People think I emotionally abuse you. No, she just, I get snippy because I'm you do get so snippy. Oh my God. moody. I am, but it's not just me, honey. I, I tend to sit quietly and brood. Whatever. I think what was just the craziest to me about our last weigh-in is like me and you were completely like raw and honest. Raw, you guys. <laughs> like I was like, yeah, like I got a little like angry because I couldn't, like you wouldn't let me binge, you know what I'm saying? Which hasn't happened since. I've only binged twice mm -hmm. this month, I'm just saying. Which I'm very proud about. But um, my whole thing is like, People were like, you are abusive, you are disgusting, Becky doesn't deserve you. And I was like, have you, have you been in a relationship before? Have you been married? Do you have a girlfriend, boyfriend? What, like, what's going on? Like, I feel like it's only single people who have said this because there is no way that you're in a relationship and you guys have never been mean to each other at least once. It happens, people get angry, people are not perfect. Relationships are not perfect. Like this relationship is wonderful, but Things happen, like, I'm not abusive to her. Becky is a smart cookie. I didn't even know she would ever actually like me because she's a lot more mature than I am, as most of you have said and noticed. I, like, literally, if someone, like, was abusing her, she wouldn't be with them. I had enough people in my life deal with those kind of things emotionally and physically, and I always promised my parents I would never put myself in that position, and I have it because if Amberlynn were to raise a hand to me, or if she were to sit there and, you know, you're stupid, you're ugly, I fucking hate you, you can't be with anybody else. I'm just saying. Why would anyone talk to someone like that? I'm just saying, you know, being emotionally abusive. No, I know. I would be like, I don't have to be with you. And Becky knows, like, I've been through a lot of abuse in my life, whether it be from family members, relationships, emotionally, sexually. So we've both seen it, experienced it, and that feels good on my back. <laughs> I got into a bit of a talking mood, so. That's good, people wanna hear you. So Monday I weighed in 257.4 to 254.2 yesterday. Okay, so now my weigh in, my last time I weighed in was 476.2, and then I weighed in at 469.4. So that means I've lost, um, since last time, 6.8 pounds. So Four weigh-ins and each time they had lost weight. We had never seen this level of dedication from Amber before. She may not have been perfect, but she did what she set out to do. Lose weight with every single weigh-in in January. Not many believed she would be able to do it, but she proved all those people wrong. The counting steps with her Fitbit, though, had disappeared and the walking and the dancing had come to an end as well. But the diet was good enough that she was still able to lose weight. She wanted to not eat out in all of the month of January, but she ruined that when she bullied Becky into giving in. It was also amazing to see the progress with Becky, how she was coming out of her shell. Becky was such a popular character that any time we saw her happy, it made us happy. It was especially infectious when we got to listen to her discuss how much she loved her family. 
Did you have fun today? I did. I had so much fun. Brady did so good. And I love being able to see all my family. I know. It was great. And they were all happy to see you. I know. I love your family. Kobe talked to you off, didn't he? Yeah, he's great. <laughs> but, um... Anytime Becky spoke, it was interesting to listen to. She came across calm and gave off a very assured account of herself. Though we couldn't always listen to her like we wanted. And... What? <laughs> or like, hold it close. Like, maybe. Yeah. There you go. Shit. Oh, no, I mean, like, you should. You you should. Like, <laughs> you like, let, me, let me hold it. I'll hold it for you. I'm just like, want to start over anyway. No, you don't need to. You were just cutting off like your forehead. That's about it. I do that all the time. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Well, are you okay? You just tired, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just really tired. I know. Amber interrupted Becky and made her lose her train of thought. And not for the first time either. If Becky did want to open up, she would have to do it when Amber wasn't around. And she did. So, hey guys, um, I know this is something that you guys really don't see me do alone, and I'm pretty nervous about it. So, I just wanted to talk about a few things. Um, yes, I quit my job because people actually did call up there and try to start problems. So, right now, I am doing something different, and it's different hours, and I just do not feel a need to share what that is with you all because I don't want there to be any more problems. And the reason I do seem kind of shut down in some of the videos is because I am. Um, some of the comments do get to me, but it's not even so much the comments, it's just I don't know, I'm afraid to be myself because I just feel like I'm kind of weird. People aren't really interested in that. And, you know, I do feel like I could be myself around, you know, Eric and Ricky and Amberlynn. It's just, you know, when the camera gets on me, it kind of frees up and I'm just like, uh. But, you know, I am going to work on that. And I've definitely been acting weird lately because um, Christmas has passed. And I always have a hard time with Christmas because, because I lost my nephew in 2008. And I don't like talking about it a lot. And I know that was a long time ago. It's just so hard. Because he was... He was my everything. He was literally my best friend when I needed him the most. And I was I was going through figuring out who I was. And, you know, I grew up in a very strict Christian home where I even grew up homophobic. So, you know, coming to grips with my sexuality was very hard. And it's just like, you know, I felt like out of everyone in the entire world, Sean didn't judge me. Sean didn't judge me and he loved me the way I was. And my first girlfriend um, ended up breaking up with me and I was really heartbroken. And, you know, Sean just crawled up in my lap and he was like, you know, what's wrong back back? And he seen I was crying and I was sad and he made me play with him. He, like, took me back to his toy box. He dug out every toy he could get a hold of. He put it in my hands. He made me play with him. And, ironically enough, that was the very last day I ever saw him. Because that weekend, he went to his dad's house. And he caught pneumonia. And he ended up in the hospital. And it was just so bad. He was too far gone that... You know, even blood transfusions, nothing, nothing worked. And he passed away. And I still struggle very much with that. And his death date is coming up February 28th. 
and it's just it does something to me it does I don't like talking about it I don't really talk about it whenever I try to bring Sean up I always try to you know make it a lighter lighter happy conversation but deep down inside it just eh, I'm missing a part of me I started my period it was just a lot like a really big mess make it a lighter lighter happy conversation but deep down inside it just eh, I'm missing a part of me Becky had just given us one of if not the most honest and emotional moments of the entire series so far she opened herself up to us like she had never done before. And for someone so shy to do this, it clearly took a lot of courage on her part. And it only helped endear her more to Amber's audience, which were quickly becoming Becky's audience. In fact, any time we were lucky enough to get Becky talking to camera, she just made herself more likeable. I'm watching uh, a Naruto movie right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little honest, I'm a little nerd sometimes. So I will show you the final product when this is all finished. Thank you, camera lady. You're welcome. <laughs> One of the big reasons people liked Becky so much was because of how honest she was. You don't like it? No. Ooh. The emotional speech to camera from Becky felt like it came out of nowhere. We weren't used to this level of honesty in an Amber video. And Amber apparently didn't even know Becky was going to film herself like this. Becky filmed herself doing that and I had no idea that she was doing that. And I went to edit and there was this whole clip of her. And as I was editing it, I was bawling my eyes out. Um, Becky's just having, you know, she's just struggling. And, you know, sometimes it happens. And It was hard not to notice the difference when Becky would sit and talk to the camera to when Amber would. It was starting to feel like Amber was putting on a performance, being this YouTube character, which is what that bitch Rafe had previously said about her. That YouTube Amber was very different to the Amber who wasn't in front of the camera. But with Becky, there was a feeling that she was the same, whether on or off screen. The Becky speech was extremely compelling, and it felt like the perfect time to start making vlogs with a bit more behind them. Let's do a what's in my Michael Kors purse. So this is a size six. I'm about to try a Halo Top Sea Salt Caramel. That is so good. Becky made 80 calories per serving. Uh, like Becky made a nasty looking yeah. face to it. So what I like about my Michael Kors purse is it just has this little clasp right here. There's no like zipper or anything. A butt perfume of the day. I'm gonna wear a little bit of Britney because I do have two of these. So I keep my makeup in there, obviously, and this really cute, fuzzy, I think this was a pencil bag. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know though. So I might have sort of made an appointment to get my hair done, and it might sort of maybe be on Monday. And we have my hand sanitizer. It's in a dinosaur. Today's the day that I'm getting my hair done. This is not clickbait. There will be a hair reveal. Uh, I have some sunglasses. That's how it looks. <laughs> I carry around a lotion. We have coconut mint drop, which this stuff is great. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> exactly what I wanted, like, and better. So, my septum piercing is coming its way. I have a pink pen that I got from a waitress one time and I ended up like tearing up a little bit and um, the girl who did my hair gave me a hug and like she tagged me on Facebook before and after pictures and um, she put like she never had such a special like moment and how like she even teared up and she said that my reaction was the best reaction she's ever had and how my hair is the longest she's ever done and I did get Cause I haven't done it in forever. I don't even know if I can jump! 
want to jump anymore. Wait, I'm going to take off my shoes. Because those are clod hoppers. Seeing Amber struggle to make it off the ground even just a little was worrying to see, and it was not a funny situation like Amber thought it was. People weren't expecting any backflips from her, but seeing her struggle to do something a child could was shocking, and sadly for Amber's health, all of the fitness talk had slowed right down. Hey guys, so I'm actually about to go shower and I'm finally able to use the conditioning shampoo in the shiny silver. silver. She did tell us though that she was not completely done with weigh-ins and she was actually planning something a little bit special. Okay you guys, so I wanted to end the vlog but tomorrow starts my eight days of weigh-in and daily for you guys which will be jam-packed into one video for you but I'm still gonna continue the vlogs. I'm yes, Amber was wanting to weigh in eight times in one video for some reason. It didn't really matter why she wanted to do this, just the fact that she was still weighing herself was good. If she didn't check her weight often, she could easily gain a lot of weight quickly without even realizing it. The fitness side of things may have been much less compared to her first month of 2018, but she still had her goals. Miss Samantha Perez, what do you guys see happening this year? Hopefully for me, losing a good amount of weight. I wanna lose like 50 pounds this year. That I could lose a lot more, but it's like, for me to lose 50 pounds in one year, just that's a good chunk. And I think that's just really what I want to aim for. Amber was still wanting to lose weight. And finally, she seemed to come to her senses over the whole mall versus gym situation type deal. But all four of us are about to go join the gym. I know it's been like an up and down roller coaster if I'm gonna join or not, but we've all decided that we just think it would be good for us and I'm pretty pumped about it. So I used to go to the gym a lot when I was living in Virginia but it's been about three to four years since I've actually went to the gym and steadily went to the gym and you know, it was very eye-opening to go today. So I'm at the gym, I actually am outside of the gym. I just got done, Becky's still in there, she's almost finished. I just feel hopeless because, um, back when i used to do the gym like i could do it for a long time and now i just feel like i can't i think someone was just looking at me i don't know like i was only able to do 10 minutes on the treadmill and then i went on the elliptical for like five that's just not good enough like if i'm paying for a membership i really need to build up my stamina <coughs> um we're actually getting ready to go to the gym i'm gonna have to go change into my sweatpants that i bought and i'm really excited about it because <laughs> sorry the last time that we went, I, I really enjoyed it and I felt good. Even though um, I have a slight heart condition where my heart tries to pump before it fills back up with blood and it makes my, my chest hurt sometimes. So especially after exercising, my chest burns. Amber Lynn said it could also be asthma. I don't know, I've not been to um, and as like a allergy doctor in a really long time. It really could be, baby. I don't know, but. Becky revealed she had heart issues and if people were already concerned for Becky's health, they were even more worried now. And Becky was not the only one suffering from heart issues. Um, I have been experiencing some rapid heart beating. I, you know, I'm morbidly obese, so obviously my heart beats really fast when I'm doing something you know, excessive, or even just walking. Um, but I notice it's happening when I'm just sitting. And it's mainly more so towards the end of the night. Um, People were always commenting about Amber's health, not in a mean-spirited way, more from a place of concern. Perhaps because of the comments from her audience, along with her struggling to walk, her heart beating strangely, and her struggling to lift both feet off the ground. Ah. <laughs> Amber now decided she would finally do something she had been too scared to do for such a long time. Uh, I'm about to call like a doctor type deal. Are you filming me? Yeah. Wow. Hi, um, my name is Amber. I don't have like insurance or anything, but I've been really wanting to see a doctor. I haven't seen one in like probably over eight years. 
I know like something I do want to get done is like check and see if I have diabetes. Okay, thank you. Well, I would like to make, I guess, like just an appointment, I guess. <laughs> you... Amber would have to wait to see a doctor. It was going to happen, but she would need to be patient, just like her audience. Amber was at least back in the gym. However, we were seeing far more trips to the mall than we were her in the gym. The fact that she was going to the mall so often meant she could meet up with her ex-girlfriend, Destiny. Destiny loved a good mall, and Destiny was tagging along with Amber and Becky more and more. Or perhaps that should be Becky was tagging along with Amber and Destiny. Because every time Destiny was around, Amber's attention was on her ex-girlfriend and not her current one. Now we need to get some grocery shopping done. I guess Destiny wants to push our cart. Did you scratch them yet? Yes, we lost them. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did. Shopping? Hey, Dana. Hey, Dana. Becky. Hey, Becky. Hey, Becky. Hey, Becky. I bought that exact bear for for Dana last year. Oh, I know. You almost said my name. Did you? It's like, she's like, for Dana. Why does she always do that? It's just like people are around each other. I know. I, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god! What are you doing? Uh. <laughs> oh my god! Popcorn and candy, though. You can't go to the movies without popcorn and candy. Destiny, do you hate me? Yeah. <laughs> Dana, do you hate me? No, if I did, I would tell you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I did, so. <laughs> You're a lie. One yet. I'm 22. We are currently watching Dana and Destiny and Maggie on and you now. Becky, Dana should do beauty school and Destiny should do graphic design. I don't know anything about no graphic design. <laughs> Come on. I That's what Becky just said that they should do. Ooh, that's good. Told you. There's a white chocolate one in there too. Thank God. <laughs> hey ho. Oh my god. I told you. I mean, strawberry is chocolates. Hey. Chocolate covered strawberries. Boy. Yeah, is he be gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, How often do you think about sex during the day? <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably about five or six times. You do? <laughs> yeah. What about you? Sometimes. Sometimes. What about you? I don't want to answer that. What about you? I'm not gonna lie. It's all damn time. I'm all the damn time. Probably the same thing. Me, I want to say about, yeah, five or six seems about I have a husband with an extremely high sex drive. What? I think about it all the time. You think I think about it all the time. So? You let me know. I sure do, you know what I'm saying? Yes, when Amber managed to drag herself away for more than five minutes from talking about sex in front of yet another child, she was paying Destiny an awful lot of attention. Becky didn't seem to notice Amber was focusing more on Destiny than on her, but perhaps Becky's subconscious noticed. Oh, literally, Becky did not. <laughs> Becky! You literally closed the door in my face! <laughs> I'm leaving that in the vlog. Valentine's Day arrived, and it was just a nice excuse for Amber and Becky to spend time together. That's Amber and Becky. Becky and I were just gonna kind of like celebrate the day together, but then Destiny just FaceTimed me and she's like, I wanna go on a double date. So I think we're gonna do like a double date, which is really awesome. With Amber giving more of her attention to Destiny when Destiny was around, it was easy for Becky to be ignored. And even when Destiny wasn't around, Amber had a way of making Becky feel ignored. You know, it's so cute. My other two come tomorrow, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, so but, um, that means expect that in the vlog tomorrow because I'll try them on for you guys. Tomorrow's supposed to be a rainy day, which I'm excited for. I was just gonna say, um, if y'all don't know who the misfits are, they're great. <laughs> Wait, what's your channel's name? It's just Dana and Destiny. There you go. Recently, Destiny and Dana had started their very own YouTube channel. Some fans of Amber also watched their channel, but it wouldn't get anywhere near the views Amber's would. 
Amber brought in views by failing over and over, being, what Amber called herself, a bit of a train wreck. But that stop and stare car crash factor wasn't really there with Destiny and Dana. Destiny and Dana still did the usual vlogging things Amber would do, however the appeal of seeing someone completely obsessed with how the public viewed them just wasn't there. And the only time Destiny and Dana's channel became interesting was when Amber did the odd cameo. Despite Amber's videos sometimes being on the dull side, her videos were more entertaining than Destiny and Dana's. And now that Becky was in Amber's videos, they were even more entertaining. Or at least they were when Amber had a goal to work towards. The only other time her videos got interesting was when she did the odd Q&A, and we could see Amber and Becky on screen at the same time interacting. It's always interesting to see a couple in love on screen together. <laughs> Ah! We've done worse. Not on camera. And it was during one of these Q&A videos that Amber brought up something she said she would never bring up again. Because he actually um, was watching the video that I made about my past being abused in a relationship, being abused in a relationship, and my past being... Amber had made a video about her ex abusing her. Her ex, Casey, who was a once was person, whatever the hell that means, made his own reply. And Amber told us she would never bring it up again. But she did. Only very briefly, but she just couldn't help herself. Having good willpower was never something that Amber possessed. She was also, by her own admission, not the nicest of people. At least when it came to Becky. Kylie Wren, what was the last argument you had? So, I think it's Becky sometimes randomly wakes up and wants to clean the whole house, like literally top to bottom, which I'm fine with, but she, she her persona changes. She becomes, <laughs> I don't even know what, like the parent you didn't want, like your whole persona completely changes. So when I woke up and she was acting all parental, I'm just like, honey, no, no, like, that was yeah. about an hour ago. <laughs> I just, I just said, will you <laughs> help me sweep a room? It, it's just, <laughs> we're never in the mood to clean at the same time. Like nobody, even Eric and Ricky, like Maybe, none you, of us. You can edit this out, but you're never in the mood to clean. I'm not editing that out because it's true. <laughs> you're never in the mood to clean. I, I need I you to get clean. a little bit in the, in the mood to clean. Becky had allowed Amber to move in with her. Amber would sleep in late, and when Becky would clean the whole house, and would ask Amber for a little bit of help, Amber would cause a fuss instead of just doing it. Amber being mean to Becky, in order to make Becky drive her for bad food, was still fresh in the memory. And with this latest example of Amber acting in the wrong way with Becky, it was just another thing to add to the list of reasons why Amber's audience were disliking her more and more with every new video. At least seeing them on camera together was always better than seeing just Amber solo. Does Amberlynn's weight ever bother Becky? No. Um, I walk, I tend to walk faster. So she kind of gets left behind sometimes. So I have to stop, slow down, and then she catches up. Unless I got tennis shoes on. Yeah. Don't lie. Has <laughs> Rafe tried apologizing to you guys? No. Nope. And I don't care if she does or not. I'm not talking to her. I'm kind of back and forth and that's just me being honest. Yeah, cause you're like super forgiving and I also am very super forgiving, but I, it's been too many times. Y'all don't know about all them other times, but it's been too many times. Morgie bait. That doesn't say Wait, Morgie. Wait, hold on, I just wanna touch on that we'll just, just one more time. I forgive her in my heart, but I don't think I could ever be friends with her again. As, much, as bad as that still does hurt. Who usually says sorry first? I believe it's me. Um, I feel like Becky doesn't there has say been sorry. Of times I have said sorry. I feel like you don't say sorry. I do say sorry. When? There's been plenty of times that I have texted you or said I'm sorry, and then you calm down. Maybe, but I feel like I say it, like physically say it. You might physically say it, but I physically show it. Like it's weird. I can fume for a long time. I can be mad for a long time, no matter how much you say sorry, 
But then there's another part of me where I can just get over something so fast. I'm just like, I don't fucking care. It's weird. I can go both ways. Especially if we're in the car and we argue about something, we'll not talk. And it's usually me sliding my hand over onto her thigh and just rubbing. Oh, baby. And just like, my nose ring sorry. is itching my nose. So if you guys see me, yeah. You have crap windshield wipers. Baby, it's not the yeah. windshield wipers. We've, we got them changed. It may have been entertaining watching them on camera together rather than just one filming the other. But when they were on screen together, it was noticeable just how much Amber interrupted Becky. If you want me to make a video, you know, talking about what I did, I will. And, she was and I like, was like, no. no, my God. I see this giant rabbit that I talked to. And Baby, it's not end. about, oh my God, it's about the title. Yeah, I want to talk about my Christian school days. I want to talk about my paranormal experiences. Her coming out story is pretty I, great. I move in in our own place one day. Um, I'm still going to very much want Eric and Ricky in my life. So. What does that have to do with it, baby? No, I'm just saying. They're These going, are like, they're, they're... I just did not like how much taller she was than me. And <laughs> she was really tall. Baby, what? We're talking about her weight. And um, for me, I don't believe in love at first sight. I don't. Unless... Mm -mm. You are a mother. Because let, let me tell you, you might be in love with her appearance, but that person could probably be the nastiest, meanest, ugliest person on the inside. They could be a serial killer, and you not know it. I don't believe She's going off on another side. tangent. And when Amber wasn't interrupting Becky, she was speaking for her instead. Morgie baby 14 asked, does Becky ever cook for you? So when we're eating healthy, I don't want her to cook for me. Um, I'm very picky. Mm, picky probably isn't the right word. I'm very just, I need to know what's in my food when I am eating healthy and trying to have a healthier lifestyle. I, and I I'm not trying to be I'm rude. I'm a picky person. No, I'm not talking about food wise. Right, right. And she's not even that picky. She acts like she is. Um, Becky was raised to cook unhealthy. She's not very good at cooking healthy. And I'm not saying I'm Gordon Ramsay at healthy cooking. I'm not. This is fucking raw, you guys. No, I do, I do, I do the cooking around here, and I just hope that she'll do the dishes afterwards. So it's and I always do half and half. <laughs> I started getting into the misfits. Well, not really recently, recently, but I would say last year. So she listens to a variety of stuff, and I did. When Amber would answer a question, Becky would sit quietly waiting her turn. But when Becky tried to speak, Amber did not offer the same courtesy. Not long after filming this joint Q&A, Amber decided she would show us her cleaning all of a sudden. I'm actually about to mop, so. Just needs mopped. Just needs mopped. Video after video, there was no cleaning of the apartment by Amber. Now, after receiving backlash after arguing with Becky about cleaning, we now saw Amber clean more and more. There was a good chance Amber had seen the comments calling her out for not helping Becky with the cleaning. Amber did, after all, check the comments regularly. So I'm just gonna scroll through. I'm gonna count to three, and whichever one my finger lands on will be it. So one, two, three. Is it me, or does she look bigger than when she started her diet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bam. Just straight up gave up on the diet in uh, in way in's nice one. I'm actually not surprised that it's a mean comment because that's really all I've been getting lately. Which actually reminds me of something I want to talk to you guys about. I'm just like totally done reading the comments. Um, Amber would lie to herself at times, tell herself the comments didn't bother her, then would read them and get upset. She was so concerned with what others thought of her. Many suspected that was why she joined the gym in the first place that it wasn't for her, but for her audience. And that seemed to be confirmed when someone asked her about her gym usage. So the question is, how's the gym? Becky and I don't go as much as we'd like to, and every time I do go, I make sure not to snap it, not to uh, film it or anything, because last time I did that, people were like, oh my god, Amber Lynn is only filming it to prove something, and I don't want it to ever seem like that. I will say, though, we do not go half as much as we should. Amber may have told us she was still going to the gym and that she just wasn't filming it, but Amber's reasoning for not filming was really more of a weak excuse than anything else. Amber knew she wasn't going to the gym anymore, 
We knew she wasn't going to the gym anymore. She just wasn't ready to admit it. Yet. Today is the day that we have all been waiting for. <laughs> I am going to the doctor. I know as crazy as this sounds, I just hope it's not as bad as what it could be, you know? So we are at the doctor's and filling out so much information and this made me really sad. This is a depression thing that they want you to fill out and I put three on everything besides the last one. Um, she said be as honest as possible. Oh wait, there's a 10th question. They've checked off any problems, how difficult have these made it for you to do your work, take care of things at home, or get along with other people. Mm -hmm. Extremely difficult. So another update, I just talked to someone else and um, they want to put me on some depression medicine. I'm going to be doing labs today because technically I have fasted. They asked the last time I ate and all that, so which has been since last night. Because again, I don't like to eat when I first wake up. A lot of people think I'm lying about that, but I'm not. So we're going to do labs and they said they're going to be able to check for everything. Um, because I have yellowing of the skin, which you guys have noticed, I've noticed. Um, so they're going to be able to look at my liver my um gallbladder they're gonna be able to check for diabetes if i have a thyroid problem um god what other stuff did she say that i did do lab work so they did take my blood um they're supposed to either call me tonight tomorrow or on wednesday um so the next three days i will get a call if i either have diabetes or have a thyroid problem or something's wrong with my liver something is off they will be calling me i'm expecting a call we're all expecting to call <laughs> us my haters the um, supporters. I can't be 100% healthy at this weight. It's just not possible. Uh, my doctor is actually um, calling a therapist for me and the therapist is supposed to call me and tell me when the appointment is, etc. Et the big thing here is I'm on meds. I'm trying not to show like my name or anything. Um, I had to get those today. They're antidepressants. I knew I was gonna cry. I knew I was gonna cry. I knew it. I fucking even cried when I was talking to the doctor. My depression has been really bad and I've been living with it silently um, for, I don't know, last few weeks has been horrible. I don't know why and it's hard for the people around me. It's just been really hard. Um, I have really bad like crazy mood swings with it and um, when I talked to the doctor today, I was very eye-open that a lot of the things that I do on a daily basis is because of my depression. That like opened my eyes a lot. I'm glad I have an answer for why I don't sleep well or why it's hard for me to concentrate or why I have these mood swings or why I overeat. <laughs> um, if I do have diabetes or there's something wrong with my liver because I told them about the yellowing of my skin. Um, it is my fault because <laughs> I pretty much have ate myself to death. And it sucks that the following I have hates me so much. I feel like I'm the most hated person on YouTube and I probably am. It just sucks that so many people out there wanna see bad things happening to me. And it's like the things that I have to read is just like unbelievable. I can't even read the comments anymore because it makes me sick to my stomach and it's not helping. I'm never going to get better if I surround myself with such just bad vibes and I don't want that for myself anymore. And it just... She didn't know what the results would be from her tests. It could say she was fine. It could say she was dying. We all waited for the next three days wondering what the lab results would be. Three days had passed and nothing. The doctors had not called Amber, or at least Amber didn't tell us if they had called. But perhaps they did and Amber just forgot to mention it in a video. After all, after the three days had passed, Amber was back to 18 out. Amber, now that she had been given antidepressants, thought her depression was the reason for everything. Her not being able to lose weight, her not being able to sleep, but there may have been another reason why she didn't sleep. 
So it's later tonight. It's like literally a little bit past 3 a.m. I'm about to go to sleep. We just got done watching Catching Fire. So you guys, I am pretty tired. I must admit that. It's almost 4 a.m. right now. <laughs> um, I look like a crazy because we actually just got done watching Split. Now she was taking pills for her depression. She was concerned what the side effects would be but she was convinced she needed them to make her better. I didn't get much sleep, as per usual. <laughs> I actually wanted to document myself taking my antidepressants. For, this is my first day, <laughs> so it's day one. I'm really, really nervous. I have to take it twice a day, eight hours apart. I'm supposed to be taking it with food, but well, I hate eating when I first wake up. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, just have a smoothie or something. Um, cause it's, I guess it makes people nauseous sometimes, I don't know. Um, I stayed up last night watching so many different YouTube videos of people's experiences on this very pill and I wouldn't say it was great. <laughs> so. She was taking the antidepressants to help her mind, so it was good she wanted to improve that. But even sat there telling us about all of this stuff. Amber was literally out of breath at times. It was a shame she wasn't interested in helping her body as much as she was her mind. She was starting to sound out of breath more and more. Luckily though, she was the type of person who never got sick. Had it first here and then Eric, and now Amberlynn sort of got it, and I don't really have it. I have like a little bit of a cough, but I've had that for a while now, and nothing else, so. And as most of them know, like, I've been sick like four times in the last two months, and I don't get sick. So, I'm sick. getting sick. I told them you already. better freaking not. No. Also, gonna get me, because my throat kind of hurts. So gonna... Amber had this image of who she was in her head a person who did not get sick. But she did, and we had seen her sick many times before. This is one of the reasons why Amber was becoming more and more unpopular and one of the reasons why Becky was becoming so well liked. Becky seemed to understand exactly who she was. Gotta be a little honest, I'm a little nerd sometimes. Whereas Amber thought she was something she was not. I don't get sick. So, yeah. We were still waiting to hear some news about her lab results, but she just wasn't mentioning it at all. There was no good or bad news. And we had been waiting for a long time for the eight weigh-ins in one video Amber had promised us. In fact, Amber had promised us eight weigh-ins in one video for such a long time now that many were convinced that we weren't getting it. But eventually... I know it looks like I've been crying because I have, but that's kind of personal. Um, but I just want to say a few things. A lot of people are like, Emberlynn, where is the weight loss video? There is still going to be a weight, uh, like a weigh-in video that I am currently working on. It took longer than Amber said it would, but eventually she was true to her word. Sort of. Welcome to our eight weigh-ins in one video. I'm doing this because I had a really, really bad week. I binged uh, this last week probably four times. Um, I overate every single day and I know exactly why I did it. I have no excuses besides I'm here to be honest and say that I did do it. And this week's weigh-in breaks my heart. So that's why we're going to weigh in daily with you guys for eight days. So, um, last week I weighed 254.2 and this week I weigh, um, 258. What is that? 0.4. 258.4. All in total, I've gained 4.2 pounds. And I weighed 469.4. I was super proud because I was finally in the 460s. Um, I weighed in today at 482.2. So that means in one week, I've gained 12.8 pounds. Hopefully tomorrow we can come back with a better weight in. Hey guys, so it's day two of weighing in daily. I look Yesterday, I was uh, 258.4, and today I am 258.2, so I have lost 0.2 pounds, which isn't much, but it's just one day, so. So yesterday, I was 482.2,
and today I was 480.0. Becky and I both forgot to film a little clip for it. So Becky was 259.0. So that means it was another gain. Um, I also weighed in, which was also a gain at 484.6. I am devastated that I am allowing this to happen. And it's neither of our faults. Um, the last time I weighed in, I was 259.0 and I am 261.6. I have gained 2.6 pounds. Was 484.6 and today I weighed in at 487.6. Or That's up three pounds. So technically this year I've only lost about a pound. See you next weigh in. I weighed in at 263.0. The last time I weighed in, I weighed 259.0. So uh, that was a 4.0 weight gain. For me, ew, I weighed in at 491.0. That is a 6.4 weight gain in the last month. Because last time we weighed in was February 15th and today is March 12th. It's almost a month ago. Yeah. We haven't been tracking. We've been eating out on the daily. Um, I eat candy on the nightly. Um, bags of hot Cheetos, bags of Ruffles here. Um, Chinese buffets there. Uh, what? What? It's buffet. Baby, I know. Buffet. It's disgusting and I'm just tired of it. I feel miserable. I, I can tell in my breathing. It seems like every time I eat like worse foods and like a lot of foods, like I can't breathe correctly. Um, I just feel sluggish and drained and just, I'm tired of it. So we're gonna get back on track, obviously. <laughs> um, so there was not eight weigh-ins, there were five. And in every weigh-in bar one, both Becky and Amber had gained weight, often telling themselves that this was okay, that it just happened and they would be better the next time. But next time would never come. Tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Amber needed a pick me up. She had started to do random comments of the day, but she kept on landing on the negative ones. So instead, she just started to pick the few positive ones. And you know, I don't let the hate get to me. Um, I was just going through my comments just now to find comment of the day, obviously, and you know, every single one is negative and it's getting to the point where it's harder to find a positive comment, but Amber, as always, wanted the love from her audience without putting in the work to get that love. But showing the odd positive comment here and there didn't take away from the fact that Amber wasn't trying. The weigh-ins may not have gone well, but at least the antidepressants were doing their job. Um, I just want to say something. I have noticed that since I started taking these antidepressants that I actually, like, one of the things is between one and two weeks, you're going to notice your sleeping patterns become better. I've noticed that I've been falling asleep hours and hours earlier than I usually do. So it made me weary of taking it and then just, like, seeing the difference of where Amber Lynn is taking it. And this is where it was, like nice to hear because I didn't know that they could see a difference in me. That's where I was like What's going in here? But yeah, he said that I'm less like crabby. Yeah, like I know like you're like less of like your moods go. But yeah, they don't do that anymore. It's like not really a roller coaster of like how yeah. you're feeling. You can one second you're like this and the next, you know, you're just like man. Yeah. Then like, you know, I'm just like over it. I'm like, this bitch is getting my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think a lot of people like know that that like I'm a very like I I mean I feel like maybe I still am I don't know but uh -uh, like that. a very moody person it was a lot to do with my depression and um, Not a lot of people know that about me. I try to share that like how My mood swings would go So it's kind of cool to hear like I'm feeling like more of like a stagnant like normal like there's, It's not like a roller coaster inside of my brain anymore just like one second we're all getting along and everybody's having a good time and then it's just like boom it's like this and then it's everybody's weird. like whoosh and it's like 
what the fuck's going on? We were all having a good time. <laughs> like, I feel bad for y'all that you had to, like, go through that. But then it's like... It's not something that... Imagine, yeah. like, living in the body of someone who can't even control their, like, moods like that. That was hard. But I, now I just feel more just like... There was always a lot going on with Amber. But now we weren't sure what was going on with Becky. All of a sudden, there was a drop-off in how much we were seeing Becky on screen. And instead, she was behind the camera more and more. Which meant instead, we got more Amber. Ro Rebecca Taylor asked, do you consider yourself a selfish or selfless person? I feel like I try to be as selfless as I can because I really am empathetic and sympathetic of other people. I just, I just said we <laughs> help me sweep a room. Less Becky all of a sudden was disappointing. She was a key character in the show. But at least Amber would still mention Becky from time to time. Yeah, I'm a very giving person. I'm probably one of the most giving people I know, and I feel like sometimes it's a little too much. But that's just how I am when I care about people. I just like to give things. Um, and a lot of people in the comments were like, what'd you get Becky? What'd you get Becky? I actually showed you guys that I got Becky Bath Body Works. And I also got her a TV. She has been begging, begging, begging for a smart TV, like a really big one. So I got her one and I didn't really want to share that because a lot of people think that I buy people's love and I know a lot of people would be like, oh, I really you're just trying to buy her love. And like, I don't want to hear that anymore. I don't. So it's like, I'm to the point where it's like, no matter what I do, it's always me doing something wrong because me not showing that means I didn't get her anything. And it's really annoying. And something else that like kind of upset me is like, baby, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Something else that kind of upset me was people saying like, oh, Becky looks miserable because... Uh... Without Becky in the videos, we were now left with nothing of any real note. No goals, no motivation, no drive from Amber. Cloud butter and electric blue sky. Amber blush. Oh my god, I'm sure the lighting here is horrible. I forgot to turn on that light. Whoopsies. Twilight Woods. Champagne toast. Fresh cut lilacs. Watermelon lemonade. Kiwi passion fruit. Cactus blossom. Coconut sunset. Pretty as a peach. Amber and argon, which is funny. And I love this packaging. Like this has my name on it. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> and I also got moonlight. Amber, now that she had basically abandoned her weight loss journey, was receiving more dislikes and negative comments than she did at the start of the year. People hoped she would get back on track, but Amber was clearly not in the right frame of mind for that. Hey guys. So the lighting in here is rough. I feel really alone. Um, I'm, I'm struggling. Um, I just want to cry. Like, and I try so hard not to, and I try so hard to put on a fake smile, and I don't like being that girl who is moody, that girl who one minute, you know, everything's okay, and the next, like, she's just mad at the world <sighs> sorry I thought someone was coming in here I don't want to edit this <laughs> it's like that one saying like I wish people could walk in my shoes for a minute I really do I'm just struggling really hard with the way I'm feeling and I don't know I don't really talk about it I mean sometimes I do like I'll talk to Becky but I don't I don't like the to pour that on her, you know. I just I don't want her to feel bad and I don't I know that she has her own, you know, problems and struggles and I also don't want her to blame herself for how I'm feeling. I hate that I'm so sensitive because like I take a lot of things to heart and the YouTube comments and like I'll just scroll through and you know it's something that every YouTuber does is they want to check out what their subscribers think they want to see what the comments say they want to know you know are they liking my content <laughs> I scroll through and it's like 
every comment, and I'm not even exaggerating, like, every comment is horrible. Horrible. Oh. I used to take constructive criticism and be like, oh, they're just being, they're just being rude. They're just a hater. That was like over a year ago plus. And now it's like, <laughs> that's, that's what I need. I want constructive criticism. But it's just, it's really hard to scroll through the comments and I put my life out there, you guys, <laughs> for thousands of people to sit there and judge me. I would like to think that I'm a strong person because that I'm willing to do this and um, I mean it it is my job like I'm gonna be real there are people out there just saying horrible things to me and it's like I don't know what to do because I really want to work on myself and my depression and it's like so many things are fighting against me <laughs> and it's it almost feels like it's just not meant to be I'm not meant to be fixed I don't know. It's like, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. It's the...